Hello everyone, it's Max here, and I'm back with another Clash of Clans videos, video, not videos, and today I'll be show, showing the Balloonian attack strategy, this is in war, this is actually with my other account, because I don't use Balloonian with this account, because they're only level 4, now it's gonna vary how you attack the person when you have different troops, of course this account only has level Four balloons, but that's okay. You can still um, do do well with level four balloons. It's just less health. You might want to bring a heal spell. But usually, when you have level five or six balloons, you won't need heal spells. So what I'm gonna do right now. I'm just gonna um, put a rage spell. You put a rage spell down, and then you put in like like half your balloons, maybe a third. Then you're gonna follow up with minions. I kind of messed up how I followed up the minions in this one because I kind of ran out. And now the balloons are just gonna make their way around. You should not attack too high if you have level four balloons like I did in this video. So yeah, as you can see, the heal spells doing quite a lot because the wizard tower is so weak. But when you when you get higher level balloons, they'll be those spells are pretty useless because balloons are super slow, you're gonna need rage spells. So now, balloons are just super slow, I'm just gonna speed it up a bit. The minions are the ones that are supposed to help take care of everything else after the balloons take all the damage. And here we go, a nice 3 star. And it's a pretty easy base. You wanna look for a bit less centered um, air defense, so it'd be better. Put max attack in this neb. This is neb. Okay, alright, my next replay I'm gonna show you. Uh, this is a little bit harder of a base, and I'm gonna show you. You have to lure at the clan castle. If you don't lure at the clan castle, your balloons are just gonna get killed if they have wizards or even archers. These balloons only go for defenses, right? So all the clan castle troops would just follow them and just hunt them down and destroy them. So what I did, I actually spent quite a few minions on destroying the clan castle troops. It wasn't too fun. And now the balloons are just gonna come in. Usually when you attack with higher level balloons, you just want to put them all on one side of the base, but since mine are pretty low, I can just use. I can just put them right on top of the air defense because that's that's kind of the best place. To put them because um, they'll get killed by air defense when they're at level four. So now you won't have to worry about the king, the barbarian king, because he can't attack air troops, so he's just useless. The archer queen, if there is one. You just you gotta be careful for that too because she's gonna kill all the balloons. So try to lure out as much as you can from the clan castle and archer queen. And if you can kill them, that'd be that'd be the best for your attack. So this attack is really strong. Um, the pros and cons are it is quite it's super fun to use. Is a um, it's very cheap for like higher levels. It's as you can see, all my balloons actually just died, but I still finished it off because I had enough minions. And that's another pro. It's very, it's quite quick to train compared to like stuff like Go Wipe or Go Wee Wee and whatever else you use. Hogs, well, Hogs is not is even faster than this, but it's extremely expensive faster than dragons and yeah it's just um, very convenient too and now the cons it is is vulnerable to like most attacks I will show you an attack where I kind of failed is in this war Maybe in this war right now it's number 15 I think it's if you mess it up well it's not, it's not gonna do well. 
Like if you don't lure out the clan caster troops, it's just gonna your attack's just gonna mess up or like it's easy to like mess up. It's not like it's a little bit hard to master too. As you can see, I, I'm gonna see what I made a mistake on on this attack. I don't remember. And my balloons kind of, I kind of, they went away from that air defense in the corner. That was not too good. Should have placed the rage spell a little more to the left. And I will, I'm just going to go around destroying stuff. And unfortunately, they won't be able to get the town hall. And yeah, that's the cons. It's quite, it's quite easy to mess up. But it's really fun attack. It's very convenient. If you can do it right, and yeah, it's overall it's like the best town hall, it's one of the best town hall eight or nine attack strategies. So I suggest you use it. I give it like a um, I give it a nine out of ten. It's really good for like trophy pushing. You wouldn't use it for um, farming. It's kind of weird. You could try to, but. I don't know. Now the cost. Okay, sorry, I'm just trying to remember what I have to say. I would use the cost for it is a somewhere around. Okay, let me calculate this. Level four balloons. Oops. Uh, I didn't really think this through. I don't know. The cost is quite cheap compared to other stuff. That's all I'm gonna say because kind of didn't plan this out correctly. The, the time to train, it's quick compared to like other trophy pushing and strong attack strategies. It's like, um, maybe less, it's less than an hour, but spells, it'll take an hour and a half, so not too great. Um, uh, the town hall, the town hall level to use this is, don't, don't use it when you have level 3 balloons, you I have at least level 4, preferably level 5 or plus, level 5 plus. And trophy range, there's not really a trophy. I wouldn't use this too much on regular attacks, based on how, mon how many other attacks, how many other farming attacks you can bring with you. But you could. Um, I don't really use it for a regular attack, so I can't really give you a good trophy range to use it at. Now, as I said, my final rating is 9 out of 10. It's very good overall. And yeah, thanks for watching this video. And I'll see you guys in another video.